I, Richard Michael DeWine. I, Richard Michael DeWine. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. In the Constitution of the State of Ohio. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> With those words, we welcome the new governor and lieutenant governor and ushered in a new era for higher education and workforce development in Ohio. When the governor appointed me chancellor on that same day, he made two things clear. He wanted the members of his cabinet to listen closely to the people of Ohio and then take what we learn and act with a sense of urgency to change Ohio. As you'll see in the video ahead, we've accomplished many things in line with Governor DeWine's vision, but there's still much more to do. So on our one year anniversary of leading Ohio, we take a look back at the state of higher education in Ohio and the DeWine Houston administration's impact on higher education in 2019. For Chancellor Gardner, listening to stakeholders resulted in a record setting year of visiting and engaging with students and higher education leaders in every corner of Ohio. As he's often said, you can't effectively serve as chancellor by sitting in an office in Columbus every day. And that philosophy resulted in more than 100 campus visits at 74 colleges and universities throughout Ohio in 2019. Those included a February visit with Governor DeWine to Central State University, where they met and had breakfast with CSU students, a visit to Cleveland State University to help incoming freshmen get settled in on move-in day, a visit to the University of Cincinnati's 1819 Innovation Hub, and Chancellor Gardner's April version of Independence Day, his first dedicated effort to visit Ohio's independent colleges and universities with stops at the University of Finley, Bluffton University, and Ohio Northern University. The Chancellor made it to many other independent campuses during the course of the year as a way to emphasize his message of we're all in this together, indicating that it takes all of Ohio's campuses, independent, public two-year and public four-year, and Ohio technical centers, as well as the state's adult career tech programs and Aspire basic education program to successfully educate all of Ohio students and strengthen the state's workforce. The DeWine administration's focus on student success was reinforced with the signing of the biennial operating budget, which Chancellor Gardner called the most student-focused budget he's seen in his 33 years in state government. The budget contained the largest year-over-year -year funding increase in Ohio history for the Ohio College Opportunity Grant, the state's primary needs-based scholarship that benefits students at public and independent colleges and universities. Chancellor Gardner touted the increase during a visit to Ohio Dominican University. The budget also included an additional $8 million for the state's RAPIDS program. RAPIDS, which stands for Regionally Aligned Priorities in Delivering Skills, is a collaboration between higher ed institutions and Ohio businesses where funding is awarded to purchase equipment to train students and upskill incumbent workers. 2019 marked the first time that there has been a capital budget allocation for the RAPIDS program within the state operating budget. Chancellor Gardner proposed that idea after seeing the benefits of the RAPIDS program during a visit to Lorain County Community College. The Chancellor announced the new round of funding during a visit to Central Ohio Technical College. These RAPID grants really partner with businesses. We, we provide equipment that is something that the business community identifies as important to them and to the colleges. And so this budget includes uh, $8 million uh, that will be divided regionally around Ohio for this state-of-the-art equipment that will really additionally be a strong partner in helping workers throughout the state of Ohio. In an effort to reinforce the important role that Ohio technical centers play in educating the state's workforce of today and tomorrow, the budget provided a significant increase in funding for the state's OTC partners. And in a show of support for those serving our country, the budget increased funding to the National Guard and War Orphan Scholarships to cover 100% of tuition and fees at state colleges and universities. Governor DeWine addressed student affordability and transparency in his budget by incorporating a tuition guarantee at all public universities that keeps costs the same for students throughout their four years on campus. Thanks to the guarantee and Ohio's commitment to affordability, an estimated 72% of Ohio's sophomores, juniors, and seniors had no tuition increase this school year, and next year at least 80% of continuing students will see no increase in tuition costs. We're going to help Ohio college students and their families by having every one of our public universities offer guaranteed tuition tuition that won't increase one dime over the course of four years if that student is in college. 
Upon its introduction, the DeWine Houston budget was praised by major education stakeholder groups for elevating higher education and workforce development across the state. Among those that issued statements in support of the budget are Ohio Association of Community Colleges President Jack Hershey, who called it one of the most dynamic in Ohio history. Inter-University Council President Bruce Johnson, who said the increase in financial aid is vital to accessibility. Association of Independent Colleges and Universities of Ohio President C. Todd Jones, who praised the governor's emphasis on the value of higher education. Ohio Technical Center's Executive Director William Bussey, who called it one of the strongest budgets in decades with regard to adult education. And Ohio Association for Career and Technical Education Executive Director Christine Gardner, who said the budget demonstrates a commitment to expanding the diverse array of educational opportunities for all Ohioans. Helping families save on the cost of college is the primary focus of the Ohio Tuition Trust Authority, the agency under the Department of Higher Education's purview that celebrated the 30th anniversary of its College Advantage 529 Savings Plan in 2019. Ohio's College Advantage Direct 529 Savings Plan is one of the top-rated 529 plans in the country, having earned the number one rating in investment performance in the 1, 5, and 10-year categories by savingforcollege.com. Students were also encouraged to save on the cost of college in 2019 by completing their free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, form. Governor DeWine officially declared October to be FAFSA completion month in Ohio, and October also kicked off the second year of the Department of Higher Education's Three to Get Ready program, designed to help Ohio high school students prepare for post-secondary education by focusing on three important steps, FAFSA completion, college application month, and college signing day. Another way ODHE worked to make higher education more accessible and affordable for all students in 2019 is through collaboration with other state agencies. ODHE continues to collaborate with the Ohio Department of Education on the College Credit Plus Dual Enrollment Program, which celebrated its fifth birthday in 2019. The program, which provides students the opportunity to earn high school and college credits at the same time by taking courses from the state's colleges or universities, has saved students and their families more than $569 million on the cost of tuition since its launch. ODHE's Aspire program, which offers free services for those needing assistance to acquire the skills to be successful in post-secondary education and training, partnered with the Delaware Area Career Center and Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities to offer an adult basic literacy program for students who are deaf or hard of hearing. Students who completed this first-of-its-kind program were honored at a program in June at the Ohio School for the Deaf. OOD and the Department of Higher Education partnered on a second endeavor in 2019, the College to Careers program was announced during a press conference at the Ohio State House. The program, which puts a full-time rehabilitation vocation counselor at 15 of Ohio's public colleges and universities, ensures that students with disabilities have the support they need to complete their degree or credential and succeed in the workforce. Chancellor Gardner joined Governor DeWine and OOD Director Kevin Miller in May at Franklin University to learn more about Blind Square, a smartphone application that provides navigation support for visually impaired students. Franklin was the first four-year school in the nation to offer Blind Square year-round for its visually impaired students. A spring event hosted by ODHE highlighted a partnership with Recovery Ohio and the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. The Forum on Mental Health and Substance Abuse convened representatives from Ohio campuses at Governor DeWine's invitation to learn how to address challenges pertaining to mental health and substance abuse issues among students. Two other collaborations in 2019 focused on technology and workforce development. ODHE and the Development Services Agency partnered with Lieutenant Governor John Husted to introduce TechCred, a program designed to upskill the incumbent workforce and qualify them for new jobs in the technology-infused economy. The process for employers to apply for grants that will reimburse them for worker training continues in 2020. Another ODHE program had its origins when Lieutenant Governor Husted served as Speaker of the Ohio House of Representatives. The Choose Ohio First program was championed by then-Speaker Husted as a way to strengthen Ohio's competitiveness in the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, math, and medicine. Since then, Choose Ohio First scholarships have been offered to STEM students at colleges or universities across the state, many of whom showcase their work at the Choose Ohio First Scholar Showcase, held annually as part of the Ohio Education Technology Conference. 
The state budget boosted funding for Choose Ohio for scholarships from $16 million in fiscal year 19 to $40 million in fiscal year 21 as part of creating additional opportunities for more STEM students. ODHE and the Governor's Office of Workforce Transformation announced the launch of a new Choose Ohio First scholarship in computer science and related fields. The new scholarship, announced at a December event at the University of Dayton, will invest more than $20.5 million in additional funds to support Choose Ohio First Scholars. Supporting students may begin in the classroom, but it takes a team effort that continues throughout Ohio's college and university campuses, all the way to the presidents and the boards of trustees. In 2019, a record number of presidents and board members attended ODHE's annual trustees conference at Columbus State Community College. The two-day conference was one of the largest in its history and kicked off with an evening event at Columbus State's new culinary arts facility, Mitchell Hall. Attendees got the opportunity to meet and chat with Governor DeWine and First Lady Fran DeWine before hearing keynote remarks from former congressman and current CEO of the Ohio Business Roundtable, Pat Tiberi. Tiberi talked about the vital role education plays in preparing students and workers for an ever-changing job market. Governor DeWine opened the second day of the conference with a morning keynote address thanking presidents and trustees for their work and dedication before sharing a positive statistic for Ohio's higher education institutions and a challenge that results from it. The last year that I have statistics for, that Randy got me statistics for, 18,000 out-of-state kids came to Ohio for college. 18,000. 12,000 Ohio kids leave to go to college somewhere else. Those are pretty good numbers. I like those numbers. We like more coming in that's going out. Our challenge is to get our kids to come back and to get the kids who come here to stay here. And we don't have to change the numbers very much to have a huge, huge impact. And so I would ask you, as you look at the policies you're creating, the things that you're doing at your university, at your two-year college, at community college, figure out how we add to that. The governor also told attendees that anyone graduating from high school in Ohio should be able to find a college or university in the state that is a place of excellence for their chosen field of study, regardless of what that might be. Day two of the conference featured breakout sessions on a variety of topics, including Title IX, mental health and addiction issues on campus, and collaborations with the business community. Finally in 2019, three ODHE staff members were recognized regionally and nationally for their work. Dr. Stephanie Davidson, ODHE's Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, received the Midwestern Higher Education Compact's Philip Sorotkin Award. Dr. Paula Compton, Associate Vice Chancellor for Articulation and Transfer, was awarded the David L. Wright Memorial Award from the State Higher Education Executive Officers Association. And the Midwest Association of Student Financial Aid Administrators gave its Appreciation Award due to Mika Braswell, Director of ODHE's Office of Financial Aid. It's hard to believe a full year has gone by since the DeWine Houston administration was sworn in to lead Ohio. We have worked hard to embark on an agenda that invests in priorities that can truly make a difference toward a strong and bright future for our state. We've only just begun. To Ohio's higher education leadership, we will continue to work closely with you and support your efforts to provide Ohioans with the best higher education value possible. To Ohio's college students, we strive to continue to make a college degree as affordable and accessible as possible with restraints on tuition, support for more need-based financial aid, strategic academic scholarships, and enhanced student support services so that every student can reach their God-given potential. To families planning for the future, we will develop even more ways to help through positive savings plans, strengthen College Credit Plus opportunities, and continued support of an all-of-the-above approach that includes a diversity of options for college and workforce preparation. No state offers more opportunity, from our adult and career technical education centers, to our 61 public campuses, and to more than 50 independent colleges and universities, we are all in this together. To Ohio's employers, we know your success directly corresponds to a healthy economic future for Ohio and its citizens. We will continue to listen and support investments in workforce preparation strategies that prepare Ohio future workers while concurrently supporting education reforms to meet the constantly changing demands of today and tomorrow. We look forward to more progress on Ohio's promise in 2020. 
Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed. And check out our website at ohiohighered.org. Thank you for watching and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.